Good morning. Oh, I have to go move the cow. And there is, can you, I don't know, you can't even see that. There's so many cobwebs on this. They look fresh. It was kind of gross. I don't know where the spider is and I don't know how big it is. <laughs> I don't want to touch handlebars. <laughs> but I gotta go move Hosanna. I need something to like wrap all this up. I don't know why I pop bottles in here, but we're just gonna get all of the cobwebs. Oh, so yucky. Sure. All right. I've decided it's way easier to come and get her with the quad so much faster because I can just pull her along and she doesn't stop and eat grass and like drag me and as I'm pulling her it's way easier to just put her on the quad so pretty I love fall until it gets really cold we don't have much of a fall <laughs> it's either summer and then winter but right now it's feeling pretty fall out He is like the most loviest cat in the world. He's so sweet. Yes, you are the sweetest. And he's not like crazy, like crazy kittens that try and claw you. He's just sweet. Okay, I got his water. I've got corn to deal with and tomatoes and cheese. All three of those things have to happen today. And bread. I have to make bread today. I keep saying I'm going to make bread and I never do. I need to make bread. The kids need sandwiches for their lunch. <laughs> and I've just been like, here's some crackers and some pepperoni and cheese. <laughs> well, it'll get there. It'll get there today. I'm not sure how much corn is here. I really had to like price it. Is it by weight or by cob? I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Okay, making butter cheese. Actually, I'm gonna skim the cream off of this one and then I have two fresh ones that the cream hasn't risen yet that I will put in this and then I'll take the cream from that because that cream line is like gorgeous. indoor projects to do, but it's so nice outside. I really gotta get that corn down. Maybe I'll do the corn outside. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Talking to myself. Nobody's here. <laughs> whole liter jar and there was still cream in it and then I had to top it off with the milk that was in my fridge to make it a full three gallons well it's like two and three quarters gallons that's in this pot and then I I think I'm getting the ratios right so it can fit in my cheese press <laughs> and still use up three gallons I just take some of the cream out even though it's a butter cheese there's so much cream in this that I think it's fine. I mean, in one gallon, there is one liter of cream and there's still more cream in the, in the gallon. So there's at least like two liters of cream, if not more. So it's still gonna be very creamy cheese. Um, I just put my Alpine cheese in the salt brine. I'm not super fan, big fan of the salt brines. I've gotten like really like slimy cheese from it. It's kind of gross. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep using it. Yes, I put vinegar in it. I even put calcium chloride in it to make it not slimy. It's, it's still slimy. And the weird thing is, cause I do two at a time, I put them both in the brine and one slimy, only one. And one comes out not slimy, <laughs> really weird. I don't know what's the difference. <laughs> one's on top, one's on the bottom, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna put this in my fridge, make some butter maybe later. I have enough to do, I don't need to add another thing. I'll just keep it in my fridge. <laughs> Put rennet in my cheese so that's sitting for 40 minutes. I've got tomatoes in the sink that need to be washed. 
and I am shucking ears of corn. A lot on the go and I still need to make bread. I'm gonna make bread today. I have to make bread. Here, look, this is the other stalk. Oh, that's cool. It's so cool. And then it grew inside here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like lettuce. It's oh, so weird. I think it's actually, and bit. it's almost ready. Is it? I think so. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Maybe. Um. You, you, sit. No. Yeah, probably not. But it's still really That's a pretty big corn, though. Didn't really pollinate up here, though. I know. That's fine. Just break that part off. It's... I think there's another one. I'm not sure. I was wondering why that one was so big. I remember picking it. Nope. So I did Done. That too. Yeah. Yes, I get electronics. <laughs> ah! Do I get electronics? You've done like one and a half. Oh. Peyton did all of these. Interesting. They have like little babies on them. Um, I got corn down here. I'm gonna start. I think I have to blanch it before I sh sh peel it. I don't know. And I got some of interesting things to peel it with. I can try out. I've got this. Looks like you just a corn stripper. Okay. Um. Or this. Let's see which one. I feel like this corn stripper is gonna work better because like you don't have to hold it you know you just kind of like push it through so we'll see but this will come in handy when i do the popcorn because we had blisters on our hands like all my kids <laughs> had blisters on our hands from doing the popcorn i do have more corn to shuck but that might just have to wait for tomorrow but this is the last of the stuff that we did do today this little tool is excellent um i tried the other that thing it's not good it wastes way too much anything that's like a set i don't know circumference um sucks <laughs> this you can actually like get everything off however it is very sharp <laughs> Don't put your hands in the way of it. Um, but I really like that. And we've got quite a bit. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't weigh any of it. <gasps> okay, I gotta make sure to count. I gotta count how many corns I got. Oh, wow, that is a brighter camera. Okay, we are out looking for peppers for Callie's lunch <laughs> for school. Oh, sorry, it's bright, eh? Yes. Uh, All right. Oh. Um, I think I got orange peppers. Yeah, I think um, next year I'm gonna plant way more. Cause as many pepper plants as I have, I don't have a ton of peppers. I mean, that's kind of what you get living up Mom, north. Did but you, did you live with the inside of? Wow, yeah, all the orange peppers. Pepper? What, honey? When you touch your eye. Oh wow, this one's loaded. Mom, did you touch it, your eye with all...